Hi everybody, it's me Ada. We're here at Clark Atlanta. I'm elated to be here. It, it, it's been a great experience. The people here are, are friendly and nice and they've made us feel at home. We just got through with our roundtable discussion and it was an intense conversation. We talked about everything from relationships to interracial marriage to um, just just everything. Drugs, jails, black men, black women, Hispanic men, Hispanic women. Just white women. It was just, you know, a very, very, very enlightening conversation, enlightening conversation. And the one thing we talked about that kind of, you know, hit a nerve with me was Katrina. For all of you guys out there that know me, you all know that Katrina hurt me more than almost anything ever has. And I took that as a personal struggle within myself because it, it was a testimony that Although certain people are Americans, you're not treated like an American. And the way that Katrina was handled was, was it hurt my feelings, like I told them in there. You know, I volunteered with one of my friends, Tiffany Stafford. Um, we went out to the George I. Brown Convention Center night after night. You know, we got to know some of the Katrina ev uh, evacuees. And it became a personal issue for me because I'm still trying to understand why people are still being displaced. I'm still trying to understand why people still haven't gotten their lives together and they're not receiving help. I, I can't wrap my mind around that. And it just, it hurts. And I think it takes one person at a time. It takes a group of people who want to make a change to make that change and to help people. Because it takes more than two years to, to get your life together. It takes more than five years to get your life back together. Like, honestly. You've lost everything that you've ever known, and people want you to pick up and just carry back on, like, you know, carry on as if not, nothing happened. And first of all, I don't think that's logical. You, you, you can't emotionally, financially get yourself back to where you used to be after being in a situation like that. You just, it, it's not going to happen. And I, I pray that if it was my family that people would care. I pray that if, had it been my best friend or had it been my aunt or my cousin, you know, people would care and people would be outraged. So, I guess I got a little rambling about Katrina. But, you know, I'm a big advocate for helping out your humankind. I'm a big advocate for, you know, social social work, for helping out your community, for community service, because that's where it starts. You know, I understand when people say the government can't do, can do everything. I do understand that we have to help one another out more than anything. You know. Okay, I'm signing off. We're headed to Tuskegee. I'm excited to go there. I, just, I love to talk. I don't know if you guys noticed it or not, but I can have a conversation with people all day long. As, as long as it has substance, I'm ready. Uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys tuning in, and I hope you do the same every time I talk <laughs> and leave me comments I'll respond bye